Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. Aww. Where's the fun in that? Being good can be fun too. <laughs> Give me one example. I'll get back to you on that. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help, like some pathetic loser. 
She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? me. He was saying mean stuff about you. About our family. I did this for you, Mom. I don't care what he said. Those are just words. And this is the last thing I ever would have wanted. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this... <coughs> Look at this poor boy. <coughs> <coughs> Mom! Uh. <coughs> oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. What the? How did I get home? Okay, because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. Ah! Oh, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? what are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. 
So now I need patience, too? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? So much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> Nebula won because I let her. I could have easily disarmed. But you didn't. I reward results. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalian. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite, but you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. I work better alone. I always have. Nebula doesn't need to be a part of this. From what I witnessed, you could benefit from Nebula's assistance. I can no longer trust you on your own. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father, he didn't look happy. Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> you can't screw this up, Nebula. If you do... I know what happens if I do. I'm not going to let Father down. Let's just do this.
Сила! Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! My father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father... Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Gamora, hand it over. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you... <gasps> You slapped me. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's mm. not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was. Stop. Stop slapping me. Okay, okay, uncle, uncle. Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora. And I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that, then that's her problem. Not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen, you are my friend, and I don't make friends with failures, okay? 
I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. I know, but I think I've made my point. Now come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Kimura, seriously? Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for... Uh, for understanding. She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you. <laughs>